This question comes to us from Drew, and he's talking about getting steep from the inside, uh, which then he says, or does that mean stuck, and what causes that? You know, that, this is a pretty big problem for a lot of people, and it's all about the club and the circle the club's in relative to your center. So when I watch swings, I see circles. I, I don't necessarily see position, so I see how these circles work together. Now, what he's talking about is when somebody takes the club back and their body goes way too fast and the club gets back here coming from the inside, you know, you can, you can get steep or you hit behind it and you hit it way out to the right because the circle of the center of your body doesn't match this circle out here. So there's a lot about core, and I'm not saying core is not important, it is important. But if you start getting this to open up way too soon, then the club is behind your center. Now I just watched a video uh, presentation by Dr. Kwan, who right now is one of the best uh, biomechanics guys in golf. And he was talking about getting people to go here and go here, so they get started down in their chest, doesn't unwind too soon. Okay, well, that's about matching these circles out. So what you wanna do is, if I make little swings here, if you watch what happens, I'm making little small swings. How fast is my center going? Now that's not going very fast. Now as I start picking up the speed of the club, how much faster is my center going? Well, it's going a little longer, but it's not going all that much faster, but look how much faster the club's going. Now if all of a sudden I go and go quick, see, when I'm swinging this, it has to travel a long ways, 12, 15, 16, 18 feet. My center only has to travel a few inches. And you're trying to time those circles to create acceleration through the ball. So if all of a sudden you go back and you start down and this unwinds, this circle goes like this first, well, this is way behind you. Now that can cause two things. It can cause most people to do this, come over the top. It causes good players to drop the club behind them. One of the keys to fixing this is what Mr. Nicholas talked about. Now it's a feeling. I mean, Jack felt like that he swung the club back, got out of the way, and then he felt like he moved into his left side and he felt like he swung the club down into the ball and he hit the ball and his body followed the club through. So he felt like he swung back, moved up to his left side and then his arms came down and the club came down and his body moved with his arms. Now, if you watch that on a video, that's not exactly what's happening, it's a feeling. But it's so easy for this center to keep up with this outside, because it doesn't have to go very far. But if this center goes quick, now you're playing catch up with the outside circle. So it's matching these forces so that when you come down through the ball, all those forces connect, the momentum, the gravity, acceleration, centripetal force, and there's all those forces then, whew, accelerate at the, at the right time. If they get going at different times, they don't play into being as efficient or have you hit the ball as far.